What's up guys, Constec here, back again for another video. This time, we'll have a look at what I think is the best bang for the buck keyboard right now. For those who want to get started into modding, customizing, or just looking for a great performing compact wireless mechanical keyboard. This is the Royal Kludge RK G68. Let's get started. So I bought this keyboard for around 2,800 pesos or around 56 US dollars last April. And I have been using it for a couple of months now. I have to say, this is probably the best keyboard Royal Clutch has released so far. It features a solid build, tri-mode connection, and 5-pin universal hot swap sockets. So the keyboard comes with a manual, a USB Type-C cable, a keycap puller, a switch puller, and extra switches. The keyboard comes in two colors, black and white. I bought the black one, and it just looks gorgeous with this sleek minimalistic design. The keycaps use the OEM profile, and fonts are neutral, which complements the keyboard's aesthetics really well. You know, it would have looked perfect if not for the distracting RK logo on the bezel. Thankfully, the bezel is removable, so we can easily customize it. Or I can just simply reverse it like this. Now, the RK G68 is a 65% keyboard. It's very compact because it doesn't have a dedicated numpad, F keys, and some function keys. However, it has dedicated arrow keys which are really useful, and the missing keys are allocated to a second layer and are triggered by pressing the FN key plus the corresponding key. It works on both Windows and Mac and can freely switch between Windows and Mac mode by pressing the FN plus the A or S key. It weighs at around 684 grams, measures 30.8 centimeters long, 10 centimeters wide, and 3.8 centimeters tall. Flipping to the bottom, we can see four rubber feet, the on and off switch, a switch for switching to Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, and a compartment for the wireless dongle. Now, you may have noticed that the keyboard doesn't have any flip out stands, so it doesn't offer any height adjustment, but it's slanted enough and I didn't feel any discomfort over those months of using this keyboard with this elevation. At the back, we can see the USB-C port and two USB pass-throughs, which I think is really nice. You rarely see a keyboard at this price point offering USB pass-throughs, and Royal Clutch is even generous enough to put two in there. But just like most keyboards with USB pass-throughs, you can only use them while the keyboard is on wired mode, so there's that. In terms of overall build and construction, the RK G68 exceeded my expectations. It has a premium build and far superior than most budget mechanical keyboards at its price point. It's made from thick and durable plastic and the keyboard hardly flexes at all. Very solid. After dismantling the keyboard, I found out that it's using an aluminum plate, which accounts for the keyboard's overall rigidity. It also contributes to the keyboard's sound profile, producing a high-pitched ping sound whenever you type on it. It uses a 3150 mAh battery, which accounts for this keyboard's really long battery life. And the best part is, it's using 5-pin kale hot swap sockets for the board. To those who don't know yet, kale makes really good switches and components for keyboards and mice, so I really like that Royal Clutch used them on their board. The sockets are compatible with 3 and 5-pin switches, so yes, it will work with gatherons, kales, and pretty much any standard MX styled switches. For the stabilizers, it's using cherry plate mounted stabilizers which are pre -lubed. Another premium feature the RKG68 has is its support for tri-mode connection. 
which means it can work wired and wirelessly via Bluetooth or through its 2.4 GHz wireless connection. I personally recommend going with the 2.4 GHz connection since it offers lower latency compared to Bluetooth. But if you're a Bluetooth guy, you'll be delighted to know that the keyboard can pair up to 5 devices. To pair the keyboard, simply set the switch to Bluetooth mode, press and hold the FN plus the corresponding Bluetooth key, wait until the keyboard blinks, release, then pair with your chosen device. You can switch between devices by pressing the FN key plus the corresponding Bluetooth profile key. The switches they use for the keyboard are RK switches, which are basically rebranded Wano switches. They have a lifespan of 50 million keystrokes. Switch options are the usual blue, red, and brown switches. The red switches I got here are linear switches and have an activation force of 45 grams, 60 grams of bottom out force, and has a 4 mm travel distance. They're smooth enough with a slight scratchiness which is what I would expect from a budget keyboard like this. But they really can't compare to the more premium brands like Cherry and Gatron, which is understandable since I think this is one of the compromises Royal Pledge has to make to bring down the cost for this keyboard. Another compromise for this keyboard would be the keycaps. The keycaps that came with the keyboard are double shot ABS keycaps and while they're pretty fine for the most part, they're lacking in the RGB department as they're quite opaque compared to other shine through keycaps. Trust me, the keyboard's RGB is as bright as it can be, but the keycaps just don't really let a lot of light pass through them. Another downside of ABS keycaps is that they lose their rough texture over time, causing them to shine and feel sticky. Mine's still okay though, and I think it'll take a year or so before they start wearing off. Well, the keycaps are not really a big deal breaker for me cause the keyboard uses a standard 65% layout so finding replacement keycaps won't be a problem. And from what I know, some regions even sell the keyboard with pre-installed PBT keycaps which I think are far better. keyboard does not have an official software yet, and I only got the software after asking the seller to send it over to me. Note that the software is still in development, and it only works when the keyboard is on wired mode. But yes, it helps in further customizing it. However, you'll have to disable it for the keyboard to work on wireless mode. Well, that's not really a problem for me cause I really don't use software on the keyboards I use. But I'll leave a link in the description if you still want to give it a go. Anyway. The keyboard has pretty much everything I need like dedicated arrow keys, functions, and on-the-fly macro recording which is explained pretty straightforward in the manual. I won't go into detail on that one since I also don't use that feature that much. Also the keyboard has a ton of RGB presets which I'll be showing you right now.
Now, I already said earlier that this is the best keyboard Royal Clutch has released so far, and I really mean it. I've used this as my main keyboard now and it performs really good on 2.4GHz wireless connection. There is no noticeable lag or delay, and it feels like I'm using the keyboard on wide mode. Bluetooth performance is what you'll expect from a typical Bluetooth keyboard. Fairly okay for typing and light gaming with a noticeable delay, so I really don't recommend it. The keyboard works at 1000Hz polling rate and it supports NKRO on whatever mode it's at. Battery life is excellent and it can last up to 4 days on a single charge with RGB lights on full brightness. This will last longer than Bluetooth but I haven't really bothered testing it. What I really like with this keyboard is its customizability. For a relatively affordable price, I have a great performing keyboard with a lot of potential for mods and customizations in the future. I really like the 5-pin hot swap sockets because it makes it easier to find switches for the keyboard. Given how well the body and internals are built, I'd still buy this one for the same price even if Royal Clutch sells them without keycaps and switches because it's just so good as a base kit. To conclude, the Royal Clutch RKG68 isn't perfect but offers so much for its price point of 2,800 pesos or 56 US dollars. You get a keyboard with excellent build, performs great on wireless, and packs features you'll normally find on more expensive keyboards like Primote connection, two USB pass-throughs, an aluminum plate, removable bezel, and 5-pin hot swap sockets. Whether you decide to get into modding or not, the RKG68 is a solid 65% keyboard to grab if you're after something that offers the best value for your money. That's it for this video. Like, dislike, comment down if you have questions or anything to say. Get subscribed so you don't miss out on my next uploads. And as always, thanks for watching and see you guys soon.